Hello friends and welcome to my channel. This is Saujanya Chima again, back with one more new recipe. Let's see what our recipe is going to be today without any delay and let's get started. And I want you all to be tuned to this till the end of this video. Today we are going to make some soft, fluffy, healthy oats idli. So let's learn how to do it. To make oats idli, the two main ingredients we need are oats and semolina or suji. For oats, I'm going to use the quaker oats. It's 100% whole grain oats, old fashioned. So I took one cup of that and half a cup of semolina or you can call it suji or granulated wheat. Um, Make sure that it is one is to two ratio. That means for one cup of semolina, you're going to use two cups of oats. Um, but now I'm using just half a cup of semolina. So I'm using one cup of oats. So before we proceed, we're going to roast this little bit. Roast this oats until it becomes light brown. Here I have suji or semolina and slightly roast this for about one to two minutes until it gets light brown. After roasting, I blended the oats. Uh, make sure that it is not fine powder. It should be slightly coarse like this don't make it into a powder and I have roasted semolina and to make the batter we are going to use half a cup of yogurt a half teaspoon uh, baking soda and a half teaspoon salt and salt is optional if you don't need salt that's fine now let's make the batter let's put everything together and put in the oats Semolina, baking soda, salt, and yogurt. Now we are going to mix it well uh, and we need to use the right amount of water until we get the right consistency. Let's mix it, let's mix it well. Batter is ready now. See the consistency is like this. It should not be too loose or too thick. So look at this. Now we are going to keep this aside for about 30 minutes. It's almost 30 minutes now. Let's look at our batter. Usually after 30 minutes the batter gets a little thick so we are going to put some water in this a little bit till we get a, the right consistency. I'll put a little more water. Now it is just right. Look at this. This is the consistency we want. Now let's put this batter on the idli plates. I already greased the plate with the oil. You can grease it with the either ghee or butter if you want. And I'm going to put on this. I'm done putting on the plates. Now I'm going to steam cook it for at least 12 minutes. I put these plates in the container, have some water at the bottom, at least about two cups. 
uh, I don't have actually a, a, a idli cooker but you can take any container which can fit fit in these plates and then I'm closing the lid and we are cook, going to cook this on high flame for five minutes first and then five minutes on medium flame and then two minutes on low flame so let's start the timer right oats idli is ready now uh, I, as you know i cooked it for about 12 minutes okay now we're going to just let it cool for about two to three minutes before we take it in a separate bubble look at this how soft and fluffy it looks I have some idlis here, I have some, it goes well with any chutney, I have some peanut chutney with some ginger chutney as on top of that. I'm going to try this and see how it tastes. Look how fluffy it is. So I'm going to take some and try. Mmm, it tastes so good. Thank you for watching my video. Please try this recipe and let me know how it tastes in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share my videos and subscribe my channel. I'll be back again with one more new recipe. Until then, eat right and make your day bright.